Hey guys, I'm Action Jacqueline, and this is your five minute dancer calf challenge. I challenge you to do this all the way through. It's gonna feel good. You're gonna sculpt and shape your beautiful calves. Like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet, and let's get into the workout. Let's start standing for our calf challenge. We're gonna do 60 seconds on, 10 second little break in between each one. We're gonna start in a first position. So to find your first, just have the feet together, rock back onto your heels and just kind of let the feet open, the toes open to your first position, okay? Now squeeze those glutes together, cinch everything up together. Pull up the kneecaps by engaging the quads and you're gonna lift up onto your toes and we're gonna keep the weight in the ball of the toe, the big toe, and then lower down. All right, we're gonna do that for 60 seconds and let's begin. All right, first position, lift, lower, lift, lower. So I want you to focus on putting the weight on the big toe, not the pinky toes, okay? They're way too small to carry all of your weight. They're just there for a little extra balance. All right, so put it in the big toe. And then if the heels kind of start to separate, notice that, bring them back together. Up, down, up, down. Good, I want you to squeeze those glutes. So when I was in ballet, we would do releves, that's what these are called, so many times. Like a million of these. So if you are sore from this, that is totally normal. And we can add some arms here just like this. So we're gonna do five different sets of 60 seconds, which equals five minutes. All right, you might feel those glutes firing, those hamstrings firing, that is good. Keep the core tight, keep it going. Okay, now we're gonna come into a second position. Same thing right here. Think about one long line, you're balancing your beautiful crown on the top of your head, and let's go up and lower up and lower. So it is gonna feel differently in the second position, but still engage the quads, still pull up through the glutes, squeeze the glutes together. And then if you wanna add the pretty ballet arms, go ahead and join me now right here as the arms just float up and then they float down. And you're gonna feel those calves, I feel them. I feel my hamstrings, I feel my glutes. Good, and then feel your chest radiating tall and proud like you're showing off a beautiful necklace or feel like your heart is beaming right here and just have that nice, beautiful, regal stance within your body, feeling strong and confident. Okay, so we're gonna switch it up a little bit. We're gonna come down into a downward facing dog. So you're gonna lift the heels up high, up onto the toes, and then lower it down. Let's go. So this is a nice one because it kind of stretches as you work them. So we're stretching and then working them. So it's a good counterbalance move right here. Lift and lower, lift and lower. I bet you never looked at downward dog as a calf move before. And now, now that you've seen it this way, you can't unsee it, right? You're gonna always think of this move now. Lift and lower, lift and lower. My calves are burning. Keep going. Amazing, come back into the second position. You're gonna give a little jump right here, and then you're gonna come up onto the toes, balance for just a second, and then lower down. So a little jump, and lift. And jump, and lift. Hold it up at the top. Jump, little saute jump, and hold. If you need to hold onto a ledge, just find your kitchen counter, or something like that, that's okay. Up, good and your body's really smart, it'll start to know where the center is. So just let it find it. And just kind of be loose in your body, but toned at the same time. That's really the whole trick of ballet. Effort, but also releasing at the same time.
Okay, a little breather. Now we're gonna be alternating side to side, working on our balance again. Little plie, you're gonna rise up onto the toe, lift and lower, lift. Join me now, up and up. Good, you can place the hands on the hips as well. You can use a countertop here, but feel those calves working. Point the toes, that's also part of the calf work there. And reach the arms out wide, if they're wide, we can add pretty arms as well. Whew. Even getting the heart rate up. This is our last move here. Use those legs. Alternating side to side, but feel tall right here in the center. Whew. If you haven't tried my other calf challenge yet, definitely try it. I'll make sure to link it here for you because it's a really good one and was very, very popular. So make sure you try that out after this. Maybe on a different day though. Good. Keep going. All right. That is it. Amazing work. You did awesome today. Make sure that you check in with me on Instagram, tag Action Jacqueline. I love seeing your DMs in my inbox. It makes me so happy to just chat with you and see how you're doing. All right, hope you love this one. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.